The advantage of having a breeding farm free of brucellosis is that we can rest easy knowing that our animals are healthy, that we won't cause any damage to the community, and that we're selling a product of great quality. I believe that the satisfaction that as ranchers, we believe everyone must have. Brucellosis is a disease currently found all over the world, and only non-Mediterranean countries in the European Union, Canada, the United States, Japan, Australia and New Zealand have managed to eradicate the bacteria in ruminants, this after several decades of strict vaccinations and with the high cost of sacrificing animals. As for Colombia, by the year 2010 there were close to 7,500 sites certified as free of brucellosis. The leading departments are Antioquia with 3,339 farms, Cundinamarca with 1,231, and Nariño with 391. The last certified areas were the province of Garcia Rovira and the municipality of Santa Barbara in Santander in the year 2011 and in the northern zone of Boyacá in 2012. This is Juan Esteban Restrepo, veterinarian and rancher, expert in the subject of bovine brucellosis. Through his work, we will understand how important it is to have a ranch free of brucellosis. The source of cattle's contamination is the secretions produced by the aborted animal. We're talking about the placentas, the vaginal fluid. We're talking about how transmission to the calf is possible through mother's milk, and that's the main thing. The bacteria enters the mucous membrane and has a preference for reproductive organs. There, it's housed and becomes intracellular. In other words, the organism is not capable of eliminating it because the bacteria is inside the cell. In bovines, the brucella is found in the reproductive organs. The males develop orchitis, or swelling of the testicles, and in females, if they become pregnant while sick, then the fetus becomes infected. As a consequence, spontaneous abortion can occur during the first months of gestation, or the fetus can be born sick or unworkable. At the same time, the brucella can be found in the mammary glands, causing the rate of milk production to go down and also for it to be contaminated with the bacteria. The brucella abortus can spread very quickly through the different secretions of the animal, the consumption of milk, spray from excretions, contact with saliva, and especially waste from calving such as vaginal fluids, placenta, or even the fetus itself, transmit the bacteria both to animals and humans. In order to keep our farms free of brucellosis, we need to implement a strategy to vaccinate our animals when they're between three and seven months. One dose that can protect all animals from a possible epidemic. We insist on quality, and the ideal thing to do with the fetuses and placentas is to burn them. Sometimes people just leave them or bury them. What could happen with the buried waste is that a predator can come, dig it out, take it someplace else. So burning is important, because that way we avoid what is considered the main source of transmission. Brucellosis generates significant losses to the different ranch owners, as well as to the whole country in general. In the year 2011, Latin America presented an estimated $600 million worth of losses. Taking into account that bovine farming is one of our main economic drivers and that genetic material is in high demand from many countries, it is essential to eradicate this bacterium from the national territory. The problems and implications are considerable. With a spontaneous abortion, you've lost the offspring and you've lost one year of production from the animal, since there is usually a decrease in milk production. So if the animal is not giving milk, it will not give milk for a whole year. So adding up to production, what you see is a waste, a considerable one that the whole country is losing. And so the loss of that animal for a year, if there is a prevalence, amounts to 10 to 15 percent. That is considerable. Thus, the lack of milk and animal production for a year adds up to being an important amount.
para hacer un ato libre de brucelosis. In order to have a breeding farm free of brucellosis, you first need to register the breeding farm in your local UMATA office or regional ICA office. After this, you must register your farm again in the offices of an accredited inspection organization, an organization that will then send an official veterinarian that has been accredited by the ICA. To do a first visit and an inventory of the breeding farm, to see that the farm has certain minimum requirements, and to do a complete inventory of the totality of bovines that will be given a blood test. In the second visit, an official authorized by ICA performs a blood test, which consists of taking blood from the animal's coccygeal vein. This sample is stored in red-covered tubes with no anticoagulants and remains refrigerated until its arrival to the laboratory, an institution that must be certified by the ICA. Tests from various users are taken to the laboratory from either individuals or people that belong to an inspection agency. They come with serum and blood samples, where we separate the serum in order to do the agglutination test, per rose bengal test, in order to determine the appearance of antibodies fighting the Brucella abortus. In case of a positive result, the sample is sent to ICA so that it can be confirmed by ELISA testing. Once the samples are entered into the laboratory and duly identified and registered, they are then put through a process of centrifugation in order to separate the serum from the blood, since this will be the component tested to determine the presence of the bacteria. A transparent plaque is marked with the number of samples, placing 30 microliters in each one. You then administer the rose bengala antigen with a small wooden tool, forming a circle. This is followed by shaking the plaque rapidly rapidly for four minutes, sufficient time for the antigen to reveal whether or not there is a presence of brucella abortus. If you can observe an agglutination in the result or a presence of lumps, that is because the sample is positive. On the other hand, if the sample is seen to be smooth and with no texture, that is because the animal is healthy. Once you repeat this procedure with each and every one of the samples taken by Juan Esteban, you get the following results. In this first phase, we can conclude that all samples were negative, yet a subsequent analysis is needed in order to certify the breeding farm as being free from brucellosis. If the blood tests show there are no positive cases, the farm then enters a program for breeding farms free of brucellosis. And then, next year, this certification lasts a year, then only 10% of the animals will be tested. Then again, we're certified for a year. And so every other year, blood tests are given to all the animals, and also every other year, only 10% of the animals are tested. In the zoonosis group, we are working to establish an epidemiological monitoring of human brucellosis in Colombia. We are developing different strategies, the most important of which is the diagnosis of the disease in humans. Complementing this is the whole treatment and prevention side of it, which we are going to adopt. The milk that is consumed in cities is all pasteurized, and in this process of pasteurization, all bacteria are destroyed. If there exists the possibility of a contaminated cow, then it is very important to consume pasteurized milk in the city. If, for any reason, you have raw milk, if, for any reason, you have raw milk, boil it, and don't stop boiling it, since drinking unboiled raw milk can be hazardous, both to our and our children's health.